Hey there, it is the 30th anniversary of The Shadow from 1994, starring Alec Baldwin. As you can see behind me here, I'm a big fan. That's only a portion of my collection, which I have previously shared on the channel. So if you're a Shadow fan, you can go back and search for that. But because it is 30 years that I've been able to enjoy this film, and I'm only now just learning about all the merchandise that was available, I've been on the hunt uh, for the last few months, and I found some cool stuff that I want to share that has been added into my collection. So first up, The Shadow did get a novelization, okay? My buddy Paxton Hawley is a big fan of novelizations on the I Read Movies podcast. If you haven't checked that out, you should. Uh, but what I was able to find is a promotional item related to that novelization. This is like a, I, I don't even know if, I assume it was put in a bookstore near a display of The Shadow being sold. I did not see this at my local Barnes & Noble in 1994, uh, but man, if I had, I would have been so excited. So to get that unique item, <laughs> that was awesome. Um, next up, there was a, a lot of stuff that was released for kids. I mean, you can see the action figures behind me, right? Uh, but there was also Halloween costumes I was able to get my hands on the Shadow Halloween costume mask. Yeah, this is really cool to have. I actually have a vintage Halloween costume. You can just barely see the box right there. But that one's from the 70s, and I don't have the mask. I only have the smock. So it's kind of cool to get this, but you can see it's officially licensed the Shadow merchandise. So that was really cool, just to locate that. Again, I don't know what kid was dressing as the Shadow that year. I did, but it was a homemade costume. Okay, the other thing that a lot of people don't know about is that there was a promotion going on through Keebler. Yeah, the people who make EL fudge and pizzerias and all your other favorite delicious snack items, right? Um, but I, again, I did not see this in my local grocery stores, but apparently there were some mail-away offers where you could get a Keebler <laughs> Brings You the Shadow, okay, t-shirt. And it had a little insignia on the front as well, okay? So that was like their official promotional logo. But also, there was a hat that you could order, okay? So this is really cool, this painter's cap, as they call it. You know, it's pretty cheap, you know? It says, the movie, summer, 94, and on the side, you got your copyright information. But I, that's just really neat to be able to wear the hat and the shirt, you know? Speaking of hats, well, actually, you know, before I get into the next hat, I do want to say, there is a guy on eBay right now selling the in-store display, he doesn't have a picture of it because he says it's all boxed up already. And if I had $2,000, I would be buying it, setting it up in my house. You better believe it. But <laughs> it was a little pricey. He actually said, oh, I listed this a couple of years ago and nobody bought it. But it's the 30th anniversary, so I'm trying again. I was like, ah, still can't raise the funds. But anyway, back to hats. This is another cool hat. Look at that right there. Nice and embroidered. The shadow kind of showing off his ring to you. I love the logo on the back is embroidered. Now, I don't know for sure. These might have been offered in some like department stores and things like that. But I know that it was a Universal Studios film. And they actually did have like in their gift shops a lot of the shadow merchandise. Again, I didn't know about it at the time or I would have been telling my parents to take me to Universal Studios. <laughs> would have been cleaning it up over there. Also... A guy did contact me about a year ago and say, did you know that there was a The Shadow stunt show at Universal Studios? I was in it, and he sent me pictures of him in the different costumes. I was like, I had no idea. And if there is any video footage, I have to track it down. But that just blew my mind. I was like, there was a stunt show. All right, uh, some more fun stuff here. Milton Bradley was all in. They did a board game, which was pretty great, but they also did some puzzles with this promotional painted imagery for The Shadow. This was actually on the official The Shadow movie magazine, but these are still sealed. I have this one, and I have another one, just a close-up on The Shadow. This was actually used for the board game box. So it's just interesting how they decided to repurpose some of that promotional art that they, I guess, had already commissioned for other items. Uh, one thing is I did, I, I have eight copies of the movie on VHS. I got the Blu-ray. I got some other unique DVD uh, releases, uh, but I didn't have just the standard DVD release. I, I used to, but then I sold it way back when, foolishly. But the one that I bought 
came with vintage newspaper reviews that somebody clipped out when the movie came out, uh, just so you know what else is happening. Baby's Day Out and Wolf are on the back here with their show times, which is funny. Uh, but yeah, so that but there are a couple different review pages here, which I was super excited to just get my hands on. Uh, one is very uh, kind to the film, and the other not so much. <laughs> so I guess everybody has their their thoughts. Uh, check this out though. There were a lot of magazine appearances by The Shadow back in the day, like, you know, Starlog and Comic Scene and uh, just any number of magazines tried to promote it. Cinefantastique, though, this is what I've been me meaning to get, but it's always so pricey, and I got this for dirt cheap, and the information inside here, there is so much on The Shadow. There are so many different articles that they put together. So I'm really excited to read this for the 30th anniversary, just get even more insight that I already have. Uh, every little bit helps. There was even, there's a famous knife in the movie called the Furba, and they profiled the knife in Blade magazine, which I've never heard of before, but I got to track down a copy of that as well. Uh, speaking of things that I got to track down, this one was from overseas. I don't have a lot of international The Shadow merchandise, but this is basically like the program from the British movie theaters. Uh, this is what they would sell. This is, I mean, they call this a press kit, but really it's just like a folder that has like the information, all the credits and everything on it. But it's so glossy and like, it's really nice. Like I, I love the production value of it. this item that I guess was going to movie theaters or maybe it was just going to like press, uh, you know, people to review the movie. But the real deal press kit, this is the big thing I was excited to get this year. So this is the shadow press kit that was actually sent out, you know, to newspapers, to everybody else where they wanted coverage. And it has uh, promotional photos. It actually even has promotional slides so you could make your own photos, I guess, to whatever size, uh, size you needed to put in your publication. I'm not going to show everything in this right now because I'm going to do a separate video on here just going through this press kit because interesting information. They have packets that give you history on the character and everything else. So anyway, those are just some of the items that I've added this year. Um, 30 years of the shadow. I have watched it way more than 30 times in my life. Let me just tell you that. Like this is a film that has continued to dazzle and entertain me. I'm celebrating in several different ways. Like I said, uh, on the Retro Network website, uh, they are doing all sorts of stuff, you know, that is taking you back to the 80s and 90s. I'm a big contributor over there. Uh, but on their YouTube channel, TRN TV, I'm actually opening up two packs of the Shadow trading cards as part of the uh, Wax Pack flashback series, if you're ever curious to know what Topps was doing to promote this film. Uh, also, uh, if you just follow my social media at Hoju Coolander, I am opening up a pack of cards there as well. Uh, just cause, you know, I was able to get a couple of them. I thought I'd share those with you. Uh, but also I am going to be on the After Lunch podcast. And so After Lunch is a, is a great show. Michael May hosts it with Rob Graham and Paxton Holly, who I mentioned earlier. He is a huge fan of The Shadow as well. We were on there together. It was Michael's first time ever seeing the movie. So it was all these like people who rah, rah, you know, and love this movie. And a guy who was experiencing it for the first time. It was like an over two hour discussion, just going in depth on the film. So if you've been feeling like nobody's talking about The Shadow, well, we were talking about The Shadow Additionally, uh, about six months ago or so on um, a bonus podcast, I have another podcast called Wizards, the podcast guide to comics, where we cover every issue of Wizard Magazine. Uh, if you're a comics fan, you know what that means. But we have a bonus podcast for our patrons called 90s Super Cinema. And so they get to vote on a movie they want to hear us talk about that was like a 90s movie based on a comic book. And they chose The Shadow one time just because they knew my love for it. And so we actually talked about that and we are releasing that to our main feed on Wizards, the podcast guide to comics, so everybody could hear it as part of the 30th anniversary celebration. So there are so many ways that you could hear me talking about The Shadow <laughs> and sharing my love for it. Hopefully it's not overload. But thank you so much for checking out this video. And hey, <laughs> the shadow knows. <laughs>